Hello. Here's a little Krishna story that I've been telling in class this week. It's a cute one. So Krishna, when he was a young boy, he lived in Vrindavan, and he would play in the forest with the gopis, who just adored him more than anything. Gopis loved Krishna so much. They were the young cowherding maidens. They loved him so much, they would drop everything when they heard the sound of his flute. They would leave husbands lying in bed. They would leave pots boiling on the stove. They would leave children crying and rush into the forest to go play with Krishna and dance with Krishna. Well, Krishna got older and he moved to Dwarka. He became a great king where he had a palace and he had kingly robes and kingly jewels and all that stuff. And he had wives, he had a few wives, and they were queens. They were queens with all the robes and the jewels and the palace and all of that. One of them was named Rukmini. And it came to pass one day that Krishna's friend Narada showed up for a visit. And Narada said, hey, Krishna, how are you? How are you doing? How are things in the castle? And Krishna said, oh, yeah, everything's fine, except I have this terrible headache and I have a fever. I just don't feel so good. And Narada, being a good friend, said, well, let me help you. I'll go to the doctor and I'll get you some medicine. And Krishna said to Narada, well, the only medicine that's going to help this headache is the dust from my devotee's feet. I can use that dust to make a paste that I can put on my head to bring down the fever and take away the headache. And so Narada says, well, then I'll go get that dust for you. And the first people he goes to are the wives of Krishna, the queens of Dwarka, including Rukmini. And he says, please, Krishna has a headache. He needs some dust from your feet to make a paste to soothe his headache. And Rukmini and the other queens say, no, we can't do that. That's against the rules. We're not supposed to put the dust of our feet onto Krishna's head. He's too sacred for that. We can't do that. What would people think? It's just not right. So Narada leaves and he goes, okay, I have an idea. I'll go to the gopis. So he goes back to Vrindavan and as soon as the gopis see him, they run to him. They run up to Narada and they say, Narada, Narada, what news of our Krishna? How is he? Is he happy? Is he safe? Is he healthy? And Narada says, yes, yes, Krishna's fine, except he's got this terrible headache and a fever. And he needs some dust from his devotee's feet to help cure it. And the gopis are so excited that they get to help. They're pushing each other out of the way. They're fighting for the honor of taking the dust from their own feet to help soothe Krishna's headache. And Narada says, well, you know you're not really supposed to do this, right? And they say, yeah. He says, you know what could happen? And one of the gopis says, matter-of-factly, yes, we know what can happen. We could go to hell for all eternity. But we would gladly do that to even cure Krishna's headache for one minute, for one breath. We would do anything to make our Krishna happy. So Narada leaves with buckets upon buckets of dust from the gopi's feet, takes it back to Krishna, and cures his headache.